Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to access parameters, access parameters with Quarkus and parameters which are stored in AWS uh, service called uh, Systems Manager. And I would like to use a particular component called uh, Parameter Store. And here I can um, manage my parameters in one place and access them from everywhere. So um, let's create a parameter. And I would like to use the command line for this purpose. And this is the simple system manager. The new name is the new name is AWS System Manager, and um, yeah, the uh, put parameter is the command. Easy to remember because it works like a hash map, and uh, the name is going to be greetings and the value, hello Duke, and what we need is the type, which is going to be a string. So it hopefully worked. So and now, so we have the greetings and now. Now let's use uh, Quarkus to fetch the parameter. So for this purpose, I would like to have to create a project, or I have to create a project. And uh, yeah, now let's create it. And group ID is Airhex. Now call it SSM for System Manager. This is the version. Rest easy is fine. Yes, create some sample code. And uh, what I would like is to improve the startup performance a bit. Uh, source test uh, Java. Okay, uh, and now open the project. And now, so I also don't need the rest assured. So, but what I need is I need I need uh, an extension, and this extension is called SSM. SSM, and this is exactly the SSM extension. And what I also need is a uh, um, so the um, protocol to, for the communication with AWS SDK is pluggable. So um, I would like to or have to decide which protocol to choose, and I will just use the stock software. I think software dot um, SDK, and this is something with URL connection. Yeah. So um, just use the stock here. And okay, so let's start. To code, greetings resource, and I would like to return the, the the value of the parameter here. So how to do that? So first we have to inject the uh, SSM client, SSM client, and I would like to use the synchronous variant today, and this is the client, and then I can just ask the client to uh, get parameter, and um, it's not that easy because uh, I need a parameter request, a get parameter request. This is how get parameter request. This is how the SDK from Amazon is working. And then, uh, but it's fairly consistent. Always use the builder, then name and greetings. And then uh, because it's builder, we have to build it and I have the request. And then what I always get back is the response. So request. And then I would like to have the parameter and from the parameter, the value. So this is the entire code, except we also need a return statement. Now uh, we have to configure here a little bit and quarkus.ssm. And uh, I think it's called region EU central one because uh, yeah, because my parameters are also stored in Frankfurt. Then uh, Quarkus, SSM, AWS, and I think it's credentials, and we need the uh, credentials profile provider. Profile name is default. This is what, uh, and what I mentioned earlier, and AWS credent credentials profile. I think this is basically it. Let's see what happens. So, uh, <laughs> Maven clean um, or compile. We don't have to clean it. Uh, Quarkus dev. Quarkus dev. Let's see what happens. And then I would like to call Quarkus. Ah, this was the wrong button. Okay, now it uh, runs and uh, curl localhost. This was 8080 slash greetings. And what I get back is not found because it's hello, of course. 
And as you can see, hello Duke, so it seems to work. So the configuration is even easier than thought. So we are now able to fetch configuration on the fly and the configuration is managed in a central place, can be of course encrypted as well. And uh, what we can also do is to provide a config source for micro profile and just inject the parameters. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, Airhex Live, Airhex TV, or uh, hear you at airhex.fm. Thank you and bye.